Alright guys, let's continue in this video by creating a little grenade proxy. Um, proxy. Um, so we need an input key to fire one of these. So um, a new mapping here, hold this fire and for the key I'm going to select my right mouse and uh, we need to get a little thing we can fire off so let's add a new blueprint type actor call this the grenade bp and for that we are gonna set up a collision first sphere collision and let's call this let's just go with that um, and then get rid of the scene component and add a static mesh um, let's just leave that and for that we will just choose one of the starter content uh, as it's it's a sphere uh, this one so it's a little bit too big right now just gonna see how it looks looks like this so this I'm going to scale it down to 0 0.15 like that and take our sphere and make that let's say 10 maybe actually let's make it a little bit smaller um, 10, 10 is fine maybe 8 8 is better okay Uh, let's see if I can move this into position like that this is what it would it probably also allow us to generate uh, if I made this the um, the collision actually the collision if I made that a little bit smaller so let's make it six that would probably make uh, enable me to generate some kind of um, um, overlap event and also a, uh, a hit event I, I'm not really sure I have to test this which is something I just thought uh, of maybe as possible but anyway for the um, <clears throat> for the sphere I'm gonna set this to overlap all dynamic it's already oh sorry it's not all it's gonna be block all dynamic and the static is gonna be well overlap all apparently so that's good enough Um, so we we're going to add a um, projectile movement component and we will set the initial speed for this to be 1000 and it's going to bounce a little bit but it's not going to bounce that much so let's set something like this and here's our little projectile so we just need to spawn this now um, so let's go back and do that so spawn actor plus and set this to grenade BP and I'm just gonna make a little space um, because if we drag out get actor transform and connect that up and just spawn it we can see it first of all it rolls grenades don't roll like that much and uh, as you can see we are kind of pushing ourselves around a little bit so we need to push this a little bit forward um, so I'm just gonna break this open and I'm gonna make I'll drag this one out and make transform what oh okay and I'm gonna connect up the scale and the rotation and for the location I'm gonna get the rotation and I'm gonna get the forward vector and I'm gonna add this to this uh, after multiplying this by a little bit so I'm gonna multiply this by 50 centimeters and then connect this up sorry about the mess Just gonna clean that up a little bit. Uh, like 
that and that and there we go very nice very good <clears throat> So now we have a little grenade launcher, clearly. All right, so uh, let's make sure that it doesn't slide that much. Um, this is not really necessary for this, but I think maybe if I turn up the friction or something like this. Yeah, this looks a little bit, little bit like a grenade. Uh, I could maybe use a little more bounciness. How much? How about 0 0.5? Yeah, that's perfect for this. Okay. Um, so once we um, have our little grenade launched, uh, we wanted to do something. Um, so when we begin play we want to add a little delay uh, so that it doesn't do something immediately so i'm going to give it a three seconds uh, of delay and um, since we need to be able to uh, interact with our foliage we want actually to um, create um, a, one of these um, foliage spheres around this grenade uh, so we're gonna uh, foliage here, and we're spawn gonna spawn this at our location. So, back to transform. Here, yeah. oops, here, yeah. and um, that means that when I uh, spawn this and wait three seconds, we should get a little capsule spawning so that's working fine as it is now so let's also add uh, a little bit of uh, effects to this um, uh, we should spawn an emitter I think um, so we can do this a number of ways um, uh, no, 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 no. let's see I'm just thinking um, let's um, well we can add the components in here like a particle system and a radio force and all that stuff but we could also just um, or, um, the sound and the stuff here uh, but we could also just spawn them um, let's just spawn them um, no, let's add them in here because that's going to be interesting. Um, particle system, and let's call this the explosion particle system, and it's going to be this explosion. And let's make this a little bit bigger so it looks nice and impressive. So, um you can start this by typing activate I think um, I think we need to turn off on at this one it's gonna spawn maybe yep great okay and we also want to play a little sound so let's also add that audio uh, so an explosion audio and drag that out and play and that's the that and add a radio force Explosion radio force, and it's called fire impulse. So the fire impulse, um, the radio force. Sorry, uh, it needs to have an impulse strength to uh, do anything at all. So I'm going to give this one hundred thousand, 
and I think that's all I'm going to change for now. We also want to look at the radius, but that's something for later. Uh, right now we're just going to establish the grenade. Um, so it's going to look like this now. And let me turn on the sound. Um, oh, maybe I have sound on, but... Um, yeah, I do have sound on, but I forgot to select the sound. So we have a nice explosion one here. And uh, oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit. Okay, um, as you can hear, hear the sound played right away, and it's because I forgot to turn off auto activate. And also for the radial force, we don't want that to fire in immediately. Okay, um, if I um, fire that and run away, yeah, the sound is still too high and uh, that's where our little attenuation is gonna come in handy also so let's hook that up to that one and um, well right now we can't hear it so we need to be fairly close to that so I want to adjust that a little bit set this up to maybe 2000 See if that seems a little bit more realistic. Okay. Okay, maybe three thousand. It's better. And change the second. So three hundred and three thousand. I'm not really sure what is best. Okay, no one. Okay, so this is something you can play with yourself. Um, anyway, just wanted to mention it. Uh, so what else do we need? Um, well, right now the the actor stays uh, active, so you can see the, the grenade is still here, and uh, we can actually still collide with it. So um, we actually stand on top of it, I believe, or maybe we don't. Anyway, I want to make sure that it disappears, but the thing is, um, we can't just destroy it right after, because otherwise um, all these guys here, if I just type in destroy actor uh, at the end here, so what's going to happen is that none of this is going to play, because it's going to be destroyed right away. Everything is tied into this, so we need to give it a little bit of delay. Uh, so let's give it three seconds to play whatever it needs to be played and destroy it. Okay, we still have the rustling sound by the way, I just noticed. Um, the foliage sphere has, uh, we have a sound playing, oh no, no, no. sorry, um, what am I thinking about, it's the, the fern, it has uh, 10 seconds of testing something from last time, okay, so uh, now it should work a little bit better, okay. So now it disappears, but it leaves still behind our, uh, we call it, um, the foliage sphere. Okay, so that's something we will take a look at in the next video. Um, but for now, we have uh, the system established, so we just need to make sure that we can get that explosion to interact with our foliage. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next. Bye-bye.